Water, the second most important necessity for life. But what happens when it all runs out? California is not in a drought. We're in a mega drought that we have not seen in 850 years. This year is the third year in a 15 year long drought period in which reservoir levels are dropping by 50% and continue to drop. The drastic change affects crops in Central Valley and Imperial Valleys. The Central Valley produces 50% of the nation's fruits and vegetables, while the Imperial Valley produces 20% of the dairy products. shipping it to China instead of giving water to their communities. The reason why we ship to China rather than the Central Valley is because of profit. There is more money being made shipping across the Pacific Ocean than across our state. If this trend continues, we will see vegetable and fruit prices go up at a yearly rate of 2.6% for the next 25 years. So where are these farmers actually getting their water from? 30 million Californians rely on groundwater, providing 60% of the state's supply. Areas are being pumped faster than they are being replenished. Under California's gold rush, Water rights have no regulations on the number of pumps a farm can have. This unmonitored drilling compresses soil and rocks, making the ground more compact and permanently reducing storage capacity. What can we do to detain more water? There is only 3% fresh water on Earth. Even though there is a plenty of plenty of salt water, it is completely useless in response. We, in response, funding for specialty chemicals for, to purify water has reached $23.7 billion in 2013. Salt water conversion can be a solution on a local level, but has yet any practical applications on a global scale for places such as East Africa and Somalia. If we do not find better conservative methods of using water, things will only get worse.